Economy of Ontario, from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. The economy of Ontario is rich and diversified. Ontario is the largest economy in Canada, its GDP being nearly twice that of neighbouring Quebec, the second largest economy. The Ontarian economy is highly influenced and run by the service sector, though manufacturing also plays an important role. Ontario is the most populous province of Canada, with a population of about 13 million permanent residents. It is Canada's leading manufacturing province, accounting for 52% of the national manufacturing shipments in 2004. Inflation is slowly reducing in Ontario. It was 2.2% in 2005 and is forecast to be 2.1% in 2006 and 1.8% in 2007. Ontario has an unemployment rate of about 8.5%, slightly higher than the unemployment rather the employment rate of Canada as a whole. Ontario's main exports are motor vehicle parts and accessories at 40.4%, machinery and mechanical appliances at 10.8%, electrical machinery and equipment at 5.6%, and plastic at 4.1%. Ontario's main imports are motor vehicle parts and accessories at 22.3%, machinery and mechanical appliances at 17.7%, electrical machinery and equipment at 10.8%, plastic at 4.2%, and scientific, professional, and photo equipment at 3.6%. History in the 19th century, Ontario was mostly unexplored, and the amount of natural resources within the province was yet to be recognized, though it was the thought of to be very narrow in terms of economic prosperity. Vast amount of land in the province was forest at the time. The demand for lumber was enormous as wood was needed for heating and building ships, houses, furniture, and railways. During the Napoleonic Wars, Britain was cut off from its wood supply from the Baltic Sea and was in desperate need for wood. Since 1893, however, this has been renewed. Sectors Agriculture and its Economic Income Statistics Canada indicates that the farm population of 2001 was 186,085, which is a steep, or 15.9%, decline from 1991's 221,230 farm population. Though urban farm population isn't dropping as fast as the rural, urban farm population dropped by 10%, compared to the rural's 16%. The 2001 Census of Agriculture indicates that the number of farms has declined sharply between 1996 and 2001, continuing a long-term trend. The 2001 Census of Agriculture counted 59,728 farms in Ontario. That's an 11.5% decline since 1996, which is higher than the decline of 10.7% national average. Even though farms are rapidly reducing in Ontario, Ontario still possesses the highest number of farms in comparis comparison rather, to the provinces and territories, with roughly 59,728. Alberta came second with 53,652, and Newfoundland and Labrador had the fewest with 643 farms. Ontario's farms nationwide have declined slightly during the past two decades. In 1981, Ontario accounted for 26% of the national total. By 2001, it had declined to 24%. Although the number of farms in Ontario is decreasing, the size of farms are increasing. The average Ontario farm size was 226 acres, or 0.91 kilometers squared, in 2001, up 9.7% from 1996. Since 1981, the average farm size has increased by 24.9% from 181 acres or 0.73 km2. Ontario's total farm area has declined 2.7% since 1996 to 13,507,357 acres or 57,662 square kilometers in 2001. However, cropland increased 3.2% to just over 9 million acres, or 36,000 square kilometers, the highest level since 1941. Eastern Ontario led the increase with a gain of 9.2 in cropland. Energy 
The Green Energy and Green Economy Act of 2009 takes a two-pronged approach to creating a renewable energy economy. The first is to bring more renewable energy sources to the province, and the second is the creation of more energy efficiency measures to help conserve energy. The bill would also appoint a renewable energy facilitator to provide one-window assistance and support to project developers in order to facilitate project approvals. The approvals process for transmission projects would also be streamlined, and for the first time in Ontario, the bill would enact standards for renewable energy projects. Homeowners would have access to incentives to develop small-scale renewables such as low- or no-cost loans to finance the capital cost of renewable energy generating facilities like solar panels. Solar panels, solar panels rather, are also manufactured in Ontario. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 3.0 Unported License. Available at http colon slash slash creativecommons.org slash licenses slash buy dash sa slash three point oh.